Hello, crafters. So today is the day after Thanksgiving. Black Friday, as some would call it. I'm going to do a quick, well, try to do a quick walkthrough of this journal I made. A lot of you have seen it, um, the process of it. I did it during a live. And I love how it turned out. I used the white and red Baker's twine. It's the foil. It's got the foil on it. This was done with a napkin on a book cover. <coughs> I embossed this. I think it turned out really good. I'm happy with it. <coughs> Some more gonzo ribbon for the closure. And it just wraps around the back. And you open it up. Well, you'll notice I got all these pretties sticking out the top. And I made some tabs with some red glitter washi tape. It shouldn't peel off because I used Tombow glue to glue it on. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you open it up, hopefully the focus doesn't go wonky. I'll try and zoom in just a tab. So I made these envelopes for a tuck spot. This is a envelope. I covered the inside with a piece of card stock or craft paper um, to give it a little more depth. <coughs> and I made this envelope with my envelope punch board. And I added some Velcro dots for the closure. There's one in the back and one in the front, and I added a Rolodex card it's for an extra journaling spot. A couple little circle punches, which I got these from a lady who was giving things away and asked if anybody would like some Christmas stuff, and I happen to be one of them she picked. So I'm including a lot of it into this journal and some tags from her. <clears throat> now this does close. I wanted it open just so you could see. It's got a ribbon and a gem. Ooh, let me find my spot. There we go. A gemmed Christmas present. And behind it is a pocket where I have these two tags that I made. This one is a double tag. I stitched around the edge. A lot of these pages in this is stitched with my sewing machine. I really love how these tags turn out. This one I didn't stitch, it's just this is leftover napkin from the front. <coughs> and I continued the theme into the inside with the bulbs. I really like how this one turned out. This is like my favorite one of my favorite journals. I'm not into Christmas things and stuff like that. So to me this was really fun to make. I'm surprised it turned out as good. <coughs> then we have a piece of vellum which has gold polka dots on it. I got a tag here with a paper clip. On the next page I embossed a lot of the blank sheets with some tinsel red embossing powder and an ornament stamp that I got. I really like how those turned out. <clears throat> That's pretty much the only stamped in here. Um, I wanted to leave it plain so whoever got this could decorate it and do it the way they want. I did include a little bit of ephemera. Uh, this is a little postcard that you can color or do whatever with. It says the North Pole Express. <coughs> and a tag. <coughs> Excuse me. A tea stained paper. Or this one might be coffee dyed. <coughs> and we have a doily.
And here's the tab with the washi tape. And of course, you can't get a book of Christmas without the poop emoji. This is a shopping list. I just, just I glued it on one side, so I figured you could use it as like a secret spot. Um, <laughs> I love the poop emoji. And this page here is uh, sewn across the bottom and around the top. It does have a paper clip with a ribbon on it. I, I just did like little just paper clips with ribbons. I really didn't embellish it that much. <coughs> and here we have a pocket. And this side here has another Rolodex card in it. We have some coffee dyed graph paper. And this is some really old uh, tissue, not tissue, but typing paper that I gotten at a thrift store. I love the sound of it, it's so crunchy. So I added that. And this is a coffee dyed notebook paper that had been coffee dyed on a uh, whole pizza pan type thing. <coughs> like an air baked one, it had holes in it. Out of that, a green doily. This is a old ledger page. A music sheet that folds out. The ugly sweater print. I love this one. This one's really pretty fab. Not fabric. Pattern. I have fabric in this. <laughs> and we have another paper clip up top. And of course, this is the a removable poop emoji, but they had to have somewhere to hide, huh? So we have that there. Another doily. Uh, coffee stained paper. Oh, this opens up as a flap. I was going to make it a pocket, but I decided I could just do it as a flap, and who, if somebody wanted to make it as a pocket, they could. <clears throat> so another doily. Coffee stained paper. Another sewn pocket. I love how these turned out. I wasn't really careful on the stitching. Like, I wasn't precise. I think it adds character. I like it. And then a tag that I did. I want to make a bunch of these because I thought that was cute. Uh, old, another ledger. Old, it's tea stained. And... This does, well, it does open, but not down on the bottom part, so it's like a half pocket. And then a tag. And this is actually the circle on there. This is a homemade tag. Um, I have a punch that makes those circles, and I cut that out of furnace duct tape. It's the foil-looking duct tape. Yep, so I did that. And here's another paper clip. And I like how the embossing from the bulbs on the, the ornaments on each page that I did them on, it kind of bled through on the other side. I think it looks really cool like that, so I left, like, I didn't cover all of them up. A book page. Old, old book page. <coughs> And this one had toys in it, so I figured it was suitable for Christmas. And it's called The Constant Tin Soldier. And it's just a story from a page. Some more vellum. This one has white polka dots. And this matches the cover almost. The bulbs. And this is another pocket. I think we'll put that in this pocket instead. There. See another pocket. Dictionary page. <coughs> and then another, just a small page to journal on. Oh, and this is washi tape on a page that doesn't want to stay down. Weird. I don't want to glue it down, but oh well. <coughs> Add a, th a thin strip of washi tape on this page. A lot of these are tea stained or coffee dyed. This one was tea stained, and this one's tea stained. 
and it's graph paper on one side and lined paper on the other. And this is like a, a sticker I put across the top. It's got little gems in the center of each of the baubles. Bulbs, ornaments, whatever you call them. <laughs> and here is the center. I have belly bands. And this comes out, it's just on a hanger. Tim Holtz hanger clip. And I added that. Oh, I should probably not be able to get that back on there. There we go. And then this is Merry and Bright. It's a and through the belly band. It is a Christmas card. I thought it would be nice to put one in there. Wishing you a fun and festive holiday season. I was just going to glue it in there, but I thought it was cute laying it in there like that. <clears throat> and I have a couple little punch outs I'm going to add onto the strings in here just to add character in there. That's the center. The back side, I added some washi tape. This one's got some bulbs on it, and this says Merry Christmas. And then I put a sticker on that. Some more of the dictionary page. This is just the opposite side of the other pages. The signatures are pretty much the same, except for the cover photo or the, the cover of the signature. I chose a different paper. Uh, this is a library card tag. I added a sticker on there. And this has a tag in there. And some of the pages you'll see the some of the fibers from the thread sticking off. I didn't do a lot of them like that. I just did a couple. Page. A little paper, not paper, a little clothespin clip. And that's holding a small doily and a tag and another tag. So just a couple journaling spots and this opens up like the other side did. I love the richness of this paper. Other half of the music notepad. Ledger. The rest of the doily. And then I added some washi tape on the inside of this typing paper on the one side. I thought I added character. And this is, I don't know what one that one was from. Oh, that one, I see. If you wanted this to open up, you could probably like cut down the center right here to open it if you wanted to have it like fold up. Another Rolodex card. And this is glued in for tuck spot. It won't go all the way down, but it's a good tuck spot. This was from one of the punch outs that I got sent to me. I thought the colors fit perfect in here. And some more washer tape across the top of that. Looks like little Christmas bulbs. And the ornaments. I really don't like this focus on. And then we're in the middle of the signatures and over to the second one. And this one I used the red snowflake paper and it's pretty much got the same stuff throughout it like the, the first signature did. So we have the North Pole Express postcard, um, a little cutout. And if I'm not mistaken, the lady who sent me these, she made them out of old Christmas cards. So if you got Christmas cards, here's a good idea to use them up. You can make cut the sayings out with punches or whatever, die cuts. 
another poop emoji list. Another paperclip and Rolodex card. I didn't uh oh, I didn't do nothing on the insides of these pages that were on the left of the book. I just did them on the right. <coughs> you hear that crunch. Oh. So this is like the first time I've done a walkthrough that wasn't live. So hopefully it goes well. And it's probably not going to be quick either. Some more ledger. I finished a total of six journals last night. Because I'm having an auction tomorrow. And I need to get them done. I have one more to go. So yes. It's the other Christmas one. I just got to sew the pages in. <laughs> I'm not going to add a bunch of ephemera to that one. I'm going to send it with because I just, for me, it's, it takes me a bit to get in the zone to figure out what to put in it. So I just figured it would be easier for me just to send the stuff with the journal. And that's why I left this plain because journal, journals are made for, you know, journaling. And I thought maybe sometimes you can do too much to them so I just thought that it would be okay to leave some room and not really go overboard with embellishing it so each signature has the same paper clip in there um, I kind of kept it symmetrical with a two and two another storybook page And I think, was it this one? Yes, I think I, with the dictionary pages, I used specific pages for reasons. And I think this one was Christmas. Yep. I think that's why I saved that one, or did that one. It's on the other page, though. <laughs> I do have a couple, um, what are they called? Um, oh, I don't know the names of them. What are they? Oh, library card holders. <coughs> I have a couple of these that were sent to me. I was going to put them in here, but then I couldn't find a spot to put them. But I do have a few of the gift bags like paper sacks I'm going to put in whoever wins this in the auction like I'm gonna send a couple other things in with the book um, so like they can just put them where they want and I do have a stamp I want to stamp on this um, one of these stamps I got a couple different types of Christmas stamps to use, but some more of the sticker on that page. <clears throat> and the center of this one is the red. And same card. And this one has that picture in there, Tim Holt from the Tim Holtz collection. And it's pretty much the same as what the other one was. And can we find Christmas? I should put my glasses on. Oh, not on that page. It's on this page. It's on the back side. Right there, Christmas. <laughs> right at the bottom. But yeah, so each of the pages are this, like it's identical. It's just a different cover. Um on the signature this one and this one I'd like to change that up a little bit whenever I do the signature sometimes I think it adds effect different character to each of the signatures so it's pretty much just the same 
It's got the tag and this tag here. Oh, I was like, why is that stuck down there? It's stuck on the other page. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and we have Mr. Poop emoji. That's because it was supposed to be on this page, not that page. To kind of hold the poop up. <laughs> Runny nose today. Well, this weather has been insane. Yeah, the weather's been crazy. It gets really cold and then warms up. And then the back. And again, the same envelope. And I'll, I'll put some more stuff in them. I have some snowflake punches and other things that I wanted to add. But I'm not going to shove it in the envelope. I'm probably just going to send it with the um, package in its own little baggie or something. I'll put one of these in here. Yeah, the thing I struggle, like I love making journals, but what I struggle with is the ephemera part. And of course, it's got the tags that matches the ones in the front. I love how these turn out. These <laughs> I don't even want to add them, but I am. I love them tags. Them are my favorite tags I've ever made. I didn't want to add much to it. I figured whoever got it could, you know, do what they wanted with it. So... So this is the ornament journal, and it will be up in the auction tomorrow. So if uh, you fancy what it is and would like a chance at it, stop by my auction on right after 6 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time, on Saturday, November 24th, and take a chance at getting it. I'll have tons of other goodies. I have lace that I'll be auctioning off, several journals, um, eyelash trim, like bags of eyelash trim, uh, 24 colors. I'll do a quick video, possibly showing some of the stuff, but I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of this journal because I absolutely love how it turned out. I'm happy with how it turned out, even though I didn't like add a bunch of bells and whistles to it. I do have a couple of jingle bells I'm going to add on to this as soon as I find them again. I found them the other night, but now I don't know where I put them. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you during the auction tomorrow. Well, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you guys later. Bye!